Welcome to the Master Wong TV. On this lesson, on to the Chi Sao lesson again, I'll go through with you onto the Pak Ta and then he block and then Pak Ta again. The idea is get used to the hand so how you can flow around later on. At the moment you do very static, later on you got moving around. So give you a very basic idea so you can understand, yeah? If you're ready, got some fan there, anybody bring your minute play together, everybody you tarong. Now when you're working with this line here, Go back to the chi sao position, I explained already, yeah? Hand on that, inside one. We just, it's got a few positions. This is one of them, so they get used to the line to understand. Hand on that, in line, rowing over. Put some, in, some strength into it. A lot of people, when they do chi sao, they like to be uh, very loose, like this, okay? If you want, you can be that loose. But reality, um, onto the chi sao side, you've got to remember, in the fighting, where, when you get there, tell me, how you get into the chi sao situation? If somebody come along, fight with you, Let's cheese out first. And then, and then, it's not gonna happen, yeah? Cheese out, a lot of time when you hit coming in, like that for instance, like that for instance, this is where grabbing time now, this is where cheese out. Now, on this line now we're in, it's called one hand in, one hand out like that, yeah? So I got both your hands, okay? So it's strengthening, it's struggling here, okay? It's not gonna be loose like that. If I'm loose like that, he's gonna bust me up. Do you understand that? So it's not going to happen. So you're going to be strengthening like this. Yeah? From here, I want to hit him. Yeah? I want to hit him. I want to use the length of that practice. And then maybe when he hit me again, I, and I punch him, for instance. I punch him, he grab my hand, for instance. Now, what happens is we go into the call one in and one out now. Yeah? So I got one hand, he got one hand. Okay, this is struggling, uh, 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 uh. and then this is where I'm going to make sure I break him, boom, 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 come in and attack him. So in the chi sao, this is where we go this line. And this is where we go this line. So this is why it's important to understanding what, why you do chi sao. Not because you, some, some Chinese bloke and say, there, yeah, let's, let's do some chi sao. Floppy little hand. You can do that if you want, but we like to put some movement on twin. Okay, now cut the crap, let's go to, the, to work, yeah? First we do the pack, pack sao. Hand here, and then we attack him from here because the hand away, we pack that. And then if the hand again, we pack that. That's what we're gonna do. Basic two, pack that. Okay? So line, pack, pack that, pack that. Okay? Very basic. On here, line, pack that, pack that. When you're working like that, you flow, and then you line, pack that, pack that. Okay? And then go back to the drill again. Like that. Line, pack that, pack that. Slowly one to get your idea. Hand. So you can't get that line in because it's hand. This is why we do the pack da. See? He pack da again. Yeah? Now, you can do this way if you wanted to. Here, la da. Pack da. And he block. And I go pack da again. Inside pack da. Instead of outside pack da. So the line of the hand. Here. One. Then pack da. And there. Sometimes why we want to put there, the vest there, is because when you get the close ring, this is why we train with a lot of equipment on. When you go here and here, yeah? When you get here, you're always like that. But reality, a lot of attention here. When you get here, can you really hit from here with power on in that range? This is why you want to have the vest there to make sure that then there. Now, if the hand certainly come out, for instance, then this is why, again, you attack this side. So if I go in and I pack that, I inside here for and hit him and he block again, I'm here again. So I got both my hands inside here. In the close range like this, it's important to know the hand, you hitting attack and you hitting with attack like that, okay? It's important. Without this tool here to understand the line, the line, you don't get enough power. So your hand can cover here, can cover in the close range. So your hand already attack. That's why good to have the vest on. Let's go back to the first bit so you can understand. So hand, here, pack that, pack that, okay? Simple, one more. Hand, pack that, pack that. Now you can go in to this one if you want to. So it's principle the same, yeah? Again, pack that, pack that, okay? One more. Line the hand, bang, bang, bang. Line, okay, thank you. That's the idea. Very basic and simple to understand. When you do them, 
Go only put some attention to it. Not too loose, because it's too loose, you don't feel anything. If it's too tense, it's got a problem. So because you're like a robot, you have to be tense and relaxed at any time to make sure the movement is work. Spend this bit of time practice. Got a problem, go to the Mass Wong TVs and we're there to help you. Bye-bye.